Hi everyone, I'm so happy you're here today. I want to start out today's video by showing you that this card does fit into a regular size A2 envelope. So when you take it out, it looks like that. Isn't it beautiful? I love it. Hi Stampers, this is Dawn and today we're going to make the tower card, isn't this beautiful, using the Butterfly Brilliance Bundle again. I'm kind of addicted to the butterflies. I haven't forgotten about the chickens, but now I'm using the butterflies and I absolutely love them. So you remember I made a butterfly card last week, so I have this one for this week and I have another one coming up. So stay tuned for the third butterfly card. Okay, so but today we're going to focus on the tower card. I had seen the card originally, I think it was made by Sam, which was the Mixed Up Crafts. She's in the UK. Julie Davidson, she made a card like this too. So, so thank you ladies for your inspiration. I'm going to tell you what the card uses. So let's start with the measurements. So the base of the card is, I'm using the Mango Melody. This piece is cut at five and a half by eight and a quarter. And then you're going to use basic black, well, at least for mine, I'm using basic black cardstock. And let me go through all these measurements here. You're going to need one piece cut at two and a quarter by five and a half. This is for the back piece of the card, which I'll show you the back here in a second. Then this piece here is cut at one and a quarter by four. And then these two pieces, which is considered for the top and the bottom. So this is going to be the center piece that I just told you the measurement for the one and a quarter by four. Then these two pieces right here is for the top and the bottom. These are both cut at three fourths by four. And then your two side panels, which are these panels over here, these are both cut at three fourths by five and a quarter. Okay. And then your piece of basic white for the back panel here is cut at two and one eighth by five and three eighths. So let me show you the back side. So there is the beautiful front. And like most of us, we want to sign the card, right? So you're going to flip this over and look, there's a whole space just for you to sign the card. Don't you love that? So this piece right here is the basic black, the two and a quarter by five and a half. And then the basic white is two and an eighth by five and three eighths. These two are the Mango Melody and then one with the basic white. And I did use the stitch shape dies, which look like these right here. And I believe these are sold out. I'm so sorry. These are retiring this year. I'm so sad. But let me give you the measurements. If you don't have them, you can cut them yourself, all right? The only thing different is that you're not going to have the stitched around it, okay? So let me go ahead and get those. So I cut these in black and the white, and these are squared at 2 and 5 eighths. So cut it at 2 and 5 eighths by 2 and 5 eighths. Okay, and then this is the exact size, which I cut it in the black so you can see it measures up perfectly. Okay, so 2 and 5 eighths square is the size, and you're going to need three of them. Preferably the base of the cardstock, which I'm going to show you what it would look like with the basic black too, because I think it would be kind of pretty. All right, and then let's go ahead and grab our paper trimmer. Okay, so we're going to take our eight and a quarter inch side across the top. And you guys know I like to double check. Check twice, cut once, right? So this is five and a half by eight and a quarter. And we're going to score across the eight and a quarter inch side across the top. So we're going to score it at one inch. This is my cutting blade. We want to make sure we're scoring with our lighter blades. So score at one inch. 2 inch, 3, and then you're going to skip down to 5 and a quarter, 6 and a quarter, and 7 and a quarter. Okay, now we're going to turn it on the 5 and a half inch side across the top. Now this is where it's going to look like it's a little bit tricky. This is what makes the card look like an illusion. Doesn't that look awesome the way it sits up? I love that. So what you're going to do is you're going to line this left edge of your cardstock up at 1 inch. And then right where we scored it at 1, 2, and 3, and then five and a quarter, six and a quarter, and seven and a quarter, you're gonna cut a slit in between those score lines. So you're gonna first line up at one inch. You're gonna take your cutting blade this time. Now I have a piece of copy paper on my cutting arm. Hopefully you can see that here. Let me zoom in a little bit. 
So you can see here that I have a piece of copy paper along this ruler on the cutting arm. So I can see those numbers really good. So you're going to line this up at one inch, then close that down. You're going to take your cutting blade and line that up at one inch because that's our first score line, remember? One inch, two inch, and three inch. So you're gonna cut from the one inch down to the three inch. And then that cutting blade has a little notch right here that you probably can't see on the camera, but it's like a line. That's gonna tell you right where the blade is, okay? So your blade is cut right in the center there, so you want that lined up at one, and then cut it down to three, okay? Then you're going to lift your arm and you're going to slide your cutting blade down to the five and a quarter. And then you're going to cut down to seven and a quarter. Okay, now we're going to slide this down to two inch on the left hand side. And we're going to repeat the exact same cutting measurement. So we're going to cut from the one inch down to the three inch. Then we're going to take our cutting arm and slide it down to five and a quarter and then cut that down to seven and a quarter. Okay, then we're going to flip it over and we're going to do the exact same thing on this side. So we're going to start with the one inch and then cutting it down from one to three. Okay, cut, bring up the arm and then slide the blade down to five and a quarter down to seven and a quarter. You can always lift it up and make sure you've cut it enough. Okay, then we're going to slide this down to two inch. Go back up here to the one inch. Line that up and cut down to three. Lift up your arm, move the cutting blade down to five and a quarter and cut down to seven and a quarter. Okay, so now this is what your card should look like. Okay, so now we're done with the cutting. All right, now let me grab my bone folder. Okay, so we're gonna fold on the two outside score lines and then the one in the middle, but we don't need to fold the one in the center, all right? So just these score lines right here and right here. And you wanna burnish these really nice. Fold this outside edge. Then do the same on the other side. Okay. So now we're going to fold this one as a valley. So this one's going to be folded. So the valley is going down, right? So we're going to fold those ones up. Okay. Now it's just a matter of making these fold lines do what we want. So the center one is always up here. And I'm saying the center one is the one and a half inch section right here in the center, right here and right here. These are always going to be facing up. So those are considered the mountain fold. So up is mountain, valley is down. Okay. So then you're going to go up here, down, because these are always going to be down because your center one is always up okay so you're going to start with your up mountain valley mountain and then valley so the two sides that are next to the center will be your valley fold just like this okay and then your three will be the mountain folds i always think of the center first though okay so then the two side ones are the valley so that's how the card should sit now you're going to take your bone folder again and go over those folds to reinforce them. All right, so there's your card. Isn't that amazing? All right, now we're going to take our pieces. So here's our, our little pieces. We're going to decorate the front first. So I'm going to go ahead and use my liquid glue. And these are going to be for the outside edges, the two longest pieces right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and put these on. And your liquid glue is going to be really nice to work with with this type of card because you want to get that strip of the basic black right in the right place. Then we have our next two pieces. Now these are cut at three-fourths by four. 
So these are going to be for the top and the bottom. Okay, and then this piece is going to be for the center. This is the one and a quarter by four. So wasn't this card easy so far? It's just a few cuts and a few score lines. And you've seen at the beginning of today's video that we put this into a regular size A2 envelope. That's even better. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and flip this card over and I'm going to put this right in the center of the back of the card. And that center part's not getting folded anyway, so it shouldn't hinder on folding the card shut. Okay, so look here. See, it looks like that on the back side. So then you can trim it down, like I guess I didn't cut it exactly right. So let me go ahead and trim this little piece of the basic black off. So there's your front of the card and then the back. Now we're going to do some stamping. Okay, so for my card today, we're using the Butterfly Brilliance. I've used this stamp set, like I had mentioned before, that we used this on a card last week, which was the slide and lock card. You remember this card? And you slide it to lock it. And then you open it up and you can open up the card. Don't you love that? So this video is posted above if you want to check out this video using the butterflies. But I did color them different. I used the, the Daffodil Delight and the Bermuda Bay. But we colored this one the way we are today. All right. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So this is the stamp set and it also comes with the dies. So you can get them in a bundle and save 10%. And then the Simply Succulent stamp set. I'm using Kind People Are My Kind of People. So that's going to be stamped on the front. And this is in the mini catalog, but it will be carrying over to the new catalog starting on May 4th. And then this is a brand new stamp set in the new catalog that's starting on May 4th. And it's the Color and Contour. You're going to love this stamp set because it comes in a bundle with some rectangle dies that are scallop and they're so amazing. But we're using this saying right down here. It says, thank you for everything for the back. Okay, so that's what we're going to do now. We're going to stamp and we're going to color. So first I'm going to go ahead and stamp my piece of basic white. I'm going to stamp this with the thank you for everything. So we're just going to stamp this right in the center. And this is a photopolymer stamp set, that color and contour. So pretty, that font. I love it. All right, now we're going to grab our butterflies. And I've already got them on my Stamparatus. So let me show you how we're going to do this. So now this is the die collection. And I had mentioned in the video from last week that I had separated my stamps and the dies. My husband cut the dies on camera for us in the video. And I will have the link listed down below for that video as well as above. So if you want to click on that right now, you can go see that video on how we cut and separated our stamps and our dies. So you'll see here that the butterflies are already cut. So I'm going to go ahead and put those on my Stamparatus, which I've already done. And I'm going to go ahead and flip my door over because this is the way I'm going to stamp them. I just didn't want to get my basic white cardstock all inked up before I showed you what I did. We're going to go ahead and ink our butterflies up. Now I explained this a little bit more in the other video. If you never used the Stamparatus, you would just take your basic white cardstock and you would put it onto the platform of your Stamparatus and then you would take your stamps and you would line them up onto the basic white and you would take your door and you would turn it over to pick up the stamps on this door here. So I've already lined those all up so they should be ready to go. They look pretty good. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and stamp since I've already inked them up. Go ahead and stamp the butterflies. And what's nice when you use the Stamparatus is it's going to stamp in the exact same place every single time that you stamp them. So we're going to go ahead and ink that up again. And that's another reason why the Stamparatus is so good because you can just keep stamping the butterflies over and over. Here, let me turn it this way. Over and over again. And they never move. Okay, so, so we're going to go ahead and stamp those. Okay, aren't they beautiful? Oh, and then we got a little bit more butterfly part up here on the larger butterfly. Let me just go ahead and ink that part up. And I'm going to put some more pressure on that section right here. 
Okay. Oh, isn't that beautiful? And then we're going to take this off of here. And I've already, I've already got one dried up. So we want to make sure the ink is dry before we color with our Stampin' Blends. That's how I use the Stamparatus for the butterflies. So this one is dry and I'm going to start with my Mango Melody. Now this color is retiring. So remember the Mango Melody Stampin' Blends are retiring, but not the color cardstock or anything, okay? And then the Cajun Craze Stampin' Blends, we're going to use both of those colors, the combo. And then the basic black and the dark is what we're going to use. Okay, so first we're going to start with the Mango Melody in the light. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to color all three butterflies really quick. Show you exactly what I did. And I'm going to leave the spots that I want white. I'm going to not color those spots. Okay, then we're going to take our Cajun Craze Light and I'm going to start at the body in the center of the body and I'm going to just brush stroke it out, like flick it out towards the outside of the wings area. Okay, then we're going to take the dark Cajun Craze. Once again, we're going to start towards the center where the body is and just kind of come out towards the light Cajun Craze color. Okay. Then we're going to take our Mango Melody in the dark and we're going to blend those three colors together. Okay. Then we're going to take our basic black and we're going to color in the butterfly body. Okay, so there's our butterflies. Aren't they beautiful? Then I would take the dies. Let me show you the dies that I use for these. So this is the largest of the butterflies. It reminds me of a monarch butterfly. Now whether or not it is, I have no idea, but I love it. So that one's going to go on that one. And then I think this one fits on this one here. And then this die fits on the little butterfly. Okay, and then I would run that through the die cut machine. Now, if you cut your dies apart, you could cut this cardstock in half and you could cut the butterflies with the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. But if you have the butterflies as one piece, like they come, you could just use the stamp and cut and emboss machine and die cut it. Okay, so I've already die cut my butterflies, so let me grab those. Okay, so here are my butterflies. Aren't they beautiful? All right, and then we're going to take our back piece here. We're going to put the smaller butterfly on that. So I'm going to grab some dimensionals. I'm going to put the dimensional on the back side of all the three butterflies. I'm just going to put this one right here. And then on the front, let's grab those three squares. Remember those? So I wanted to show you now, this is the way the original card was made. So you're going to take your squares. Now you're going to use your card base as the guide, so you don't want to make your point go above that because then it won't fit into a regular size envelope. So you're going to make your point right below that card line, just like that, and I'm putting it at a diagonal. And then you're going to take your second Mango Melody and do the exact same thing, but this point you don't want it to go on the, the bottom piece of the base of the card. Okay, And then your white piece that we're going to stamp on here in a second and the butterflies are going to go on here is going to go as the square shape right in the center of those two diamond shaped squares okay but i wanted to show you what the basic black would look like because i was really debating on whether or not to use the basic black so look at this with the black so pretty okay and then you put the white piece right in the center there Okay, so it's totally up to you. And of course, you don't have to use even the Mango Melody, but I was doing that kind of like theme with the Monarch. So that's why I went with that. All right, and once again, we're going to use the liquid glue. Now, I wouldn't put the liquid glue if you're doing this diamond shape like this onto the card because you don't want to overhang on any of these pieces that are cut. Just add the glue to the center of the section where you're adding your 
diamond shape of your square and just press that down and then do the same thing with the second square keeping it right in that center section of the card okay and put that down here just like that okay now we're going to go ahead and set that aside we're going to stamp on this we're going to stamp that kind people are my kind of people so we're going to stamp this right down here in the bottom left corner i got to bring this close to me so I can line it up. Okay, so right there. Kind people are my kind of people. Then we're going to take those two butterflies. I'm going to put dimensionals on those. Just one on the center in the back. Okay, and then you can also pop this section up. But I'm just going to go ahead and put some liquid glue on this. Right in the center. So it's going to overlap in the center of those diamond shaped squares right there. I'm going to take the largest of the two butterflies that are left. We're going to put the one large butterfly up here at the top and then the next butterfly at the bottom. I think I'm going to have it go like this. It's like that. Isn't that pretty? And we're going to flip it over and we're going to put this piece of the basic white onto the center of that black strip. So then you can sign on this layer too. Isn't that beautiful? So you're bringing the butterfly to the back piece too, just like that. Gorgeous, I love it. So pretty. So then it closes up flat like this, so this will fit into a regular size envelope, an A2 envelope. And then when it sits up, it sits up by itself, just like that. And then there's a place to sign. I love it. Thank you so much for popping in today and watching today's video. I hope you give this card a try. You're going to love it. Here's the other one. You're going to really wow your friends with this card because it's a really cute fun fold. Okay, so let me show you the back again. Okay, so I'll have all the items listed down below. And then also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and then hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video. Okay, so stay tuned for the next butterfly card. We're on a roll here. Thanks so much for stopping in. We'll see you next time. Bye.